welcome to Mr. Stanish's studio. Hopefully you enjoy those pictures I had taken when I was in Paris. Today we're going to be discussing about Impressionism. Impressionism is a style of painting begun in France about 1875. It stresses a candid glimpse of the subject, spontaneity, and an emphasis on the momentary effects of light and color. So what is an artistic movement? An artistic movement is a group of artists who agree on general principles of an artistic style. An art movement does not have much to do with the date and time except when the movement emerged, meaning an artist today could still be identified as an Impressionist. The beginning, in the middle of the 19th century, a time of change. Historical subjects, religious themes, and portraits were valued. Landscapes and still life were not. In the Academy, art jury prefer carefully finished images that look realistic when examined closely. Color continued to be somber and conservative, and traces of brush strokes were suppressed, concealing the artist's personality, emotions, and working techniques. Then, a group of young rebellious painters interested in painting landscapes and still life experimented with a lighter and brighter manner, both in color and technique. These kids are known as the Impressionists. The key artist that I will be talking about today is Manet, Monet, Renoir, Degas, Cassatt, Pizarro, and Rodin. Manet. Some say that Manet is the father of modern art. Manet's stylistic innovation was the cause why modernist critics continued arguments based solely on that reason. And they started to make more of the break from the past in art in the slow beginning to abstraction. Pfeiffer and Luncheon on the Grass were highly controversial paintings, and like most of the Impressionists, was rejected by the Parisians. The Pfeiffer showing Manet's influence of Spanish Impressionism was an anonymous, non important figure with a flat appearance, creating almost as a cartoon type of image. Luncheon on the Grass was controversial not because of the nude women, but how it was a modern setting accompanied with clothed men and possibility of prostitutes. Monet. Monet's painting, Impression Sunrise, was the artwork that named the artistic movement. Monet believed it was his task of the artist to represent what stands between the object and the artist which is the beauty of the atmosphere impossible. Water Lilies Bridge was a Japanese style wooden bridge built in his garden and it was in numerous of his paintings. Monet's Water Lilies painted from his garden has inspired several of his paintings. Haystacks is yet another series of paintings contributing to his studies of the weather and atmosphere. Renoir. Renoir painted Balde Moulin du Laguette as a snapshot of real life. Renoir's paintings are notable for their vibrant light and saturated color, most often focusing on people in intimate and candid compositions. Degas. Degas was a French artist most famous for his pastel drawings and oil paintings of ballerinas. Degas also liked to paint the horses at the races. You can see in his work, like most Impressionists, how he would capture the moment as it was happening. Mary Cassatt was an American artist who prevailed in the field of mostly men. Cassatt was born in Pennsylvania but lived most of her life in France. While she lived in France, she became well acquainted with Edgar Degas. They spent a lot of time painting and exchanging ideas with each other. Cassatt is most notable for women and the children she painted, showing us the more vulnerable and maternal side of women. Pizarro Pizarro was a Danish-French Impressionist and Neo-Impressionist. Pizarro brushstrokes were thick and choppy, but when he studied with Seurat, his style had changed. Pointillism technique did not last that long. He became too frustrated with it. 
Throughout his life, Pizarro was a very influential artist and many of the post-impressionists studied and looked up to him. Rodin. Augustus Rodin is one of my favorites. Even though I'm not a sculptor, my paintings have been influenced by Rodin. Rodin was a French sculptor who is considered as the grandfather of modern sculpture. Rodin was a well-renowned artist during his lifetime. Gates of Hell was one of Rodin's ongoing pieces throughout his life. He died before he could see it finally become bronze. There were over 200 figures and groups that formed ideas which he drew on for the rest of his working life. One of the most recognizable sculptures coming from the Gates of Hell was the Thinker. It was the poet looking down and observing the circles of hell. The Thinker was enlarged in 1904 and became the most celebrated sculptures ever known. There are numerous casts that exist worldwide, including my favorite, the one found in the gardens of the Mose Rodin. I can still see him today, looking at the Thinker, and in the distance you can see the Eiffel Tower with blue skies and perfect soft clouds. In the last slide, there's more information you can watch about Impressionist artists. This is the end of the Impressionism Part 1 slides. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay healthy.